Hi guys, today in this video we will take a look at how you can create links from the ClickSense Hub, uh, links that will open any web page when clicked. So instead of uh, opening a Sense app, when you click on an icon in the ClickSense Hub, you can open a web page. And it turns out that this is not too hard to achieve. Um, you, we will need some, uh, some tools beyond uh, ClickSense itself but it's not too bad and uh, let's look at how that can be done. First, uh, let's sign in just as we usually do. And here we are at the hub, on the test server. And um, we're gonna open here a stream called Open Web Links from the ClickSense Hub. We have uh, six different apps here. And at least we think these are apps, it looks like regular apps. Uh, one of them actually is an app, Minecraft Metrics. Let's take a look. And indeed, um, this is a regular Sense app. It's about Minecraft Metrics, of course. I'm hosting a Minecraft server um, for some of the kids here. And um, on this, in this uh, Sense app, we can look at who did what, basically. And uh, for example, um, we get metrics such as um, Oh, I don't know how far um, people have traveled through this particular Minecraft world and uh, things caught. Uh, let's see here. Someone caught here a uh, one tropical fish. All right, so that's Minecraft for you. And let's uh, let's take a look at the other apps here in this Sense Hub. Except that these are not apps; these are links to web pages. So the idea here is that we can now mix web pages and links to web pages and sense apps. And this can be useful in a corporate setting, for example, if you have um, some internet or confluence pages or wikis that you want to link to in addition to um, providing access to the sense apps. For example, if I click on uh, this app here, click help pages, what happens is that, well, I go to help.click.com. All right. And if I click on the uh, Butler SOS app, I go to the Butler SOS website. And uh, let's see, let's close these guys. Uh, Butler Control Q is a new member of the Butler family of tools for ClickSense Enterprise. This is a better management console, if you like. Um, it allows you to, uh, it gives you things like a tree view for reload tasks. Uh, for example, scrolling down here, there are a couple of screenshots. You can see that, um, where are we? Right, so here we get it, like a tree view for reload tasks. Can be useful at times. Also uh, a task, or rather a network view, if you have uh, lots and lots of tasks. So that's a useful tool, but not quite what we are here today. Um, yeah, and the same thing for Butler and Butler Off. Clicking those links will take us to those websites. Let's take a look at how this works. Again, here is the hub with the uh, six different apps on it. So these are regular Sense apps, uh, created just like any other Sense apps. The difference being that uh, the five links, so all these apps except the Minecraft one, um, these are just placeholders. There's nothing in them, uh, not a single line of script code or anything beyond the, the default initialization, initialization code. So these are just placeholders um, to serve as links going from the hub to these websites. So the concept behind these is that we have um, the traffic reverse proxy. If uh, we start with the user accessing the sense hub, and th that's the first basic scenario. So this is a regular access to sense. Uh, any access to, in this case, click sense.petarminglabs.net will first go to the traffic reverse proxy. The reverse proxy has a rule or a route 
where that says basically if the URL is clicksense.petarmingandlabs.net, you should forward this traffic to the service found at IP address 10.11.12.13, which is a made up IP address, of course. The traffic, um, the network traffic is forward forwarded to ClickSense Enterprise where the various applications are found. So this is what happens when a user accesses the hub or when a user accesses uh, any app, any regular app on the Sense server, for example, the Minecraft app. The second scenario is when a user clicks, for example, the uh, um, the app that opens the click help web page. Let's go back and take a look. That would be this app here. And um, when a user clicks that app, what happens? Well, uh, the click, of course, the first traffic goes to um, the reverse proxy as before. The difference being is that there are also a couple of other routes um, in this case, we have two more routes saying that if the incoming URL is this third route here, uh, I won't spell it out, but basically it's the URL that would show when the user opens the, uh, the regular Sense app. So traffic will trigger on this specific URL and say that, hey, I have a route for this and redirect to help.click.com. So in this case, the traffic, the network traffic will never even hit the uh, Sense Enterprise server. It will bounce off traffic and get redirected there and go off in step two to help.click.com. And uh, the last scenario here is that a user opens the Butler SOS app in the hub. Same thing as before, um, the, the first step is that the user's network traffic will hit the reverse proxy. And there, uh, there is a route saying that if the URL is this specific one, the traffic should be redirected to butlersos.petarminglabs.net, which is what happens and the user is rerouted to that website. And again, um, there is no network traffic ever in this specific, in this scenario even arriving at the sense server so these apps the sense apps they only serve as placeholders they will never be opened on the sense server um, there won't be any log entries for those apps being opened or anything the redirect happens in the traffic reverse proxy but the effect is that to the end user is that you can first go to the hub open some apps as regular sense apps and some apps will serve as links to websites.